Uh, hello and uh, welcome to uh, International Basketball on the uh, C64. Now this is quite an early uh, game on the 64, but uh, still, uh, and, and also it doesn't have a full basketball team on either side, but but it's still quite a, it's still, it was a good game back in its day I think, and it's still quite good fun to play I think. Uh, I'm just setting uh, the. Uh, you can either play two player mode, which is this, or you can set the uh, difficulty level of the computer, so I'll set it to three. I haven't played this for a while, so I'm not quite sure what I'm matched at. But this is one of the, the um, good things about this game is that you can set the uh, computer uh, skill level to roughly match what your your uh, own abilities are. I think that's. Uh, uh, I think that's a great way of doing it, to be honest. You can also pick uh, which rules. Uh, we're playing Olympic rules, but you can also pick NBA rules and whatever that is. But uh, anyway, let's get started. You get some uh, some cheer uh, cheerleaders here, uh, but they're uh, I'm not quite sure what they bring to the game, but a uh, bit of atmosphere, I suppose. Here we are. Uh, I'm playing the grey team. Now, there's only three players per uh, per team. Now, the, the player you play, uh, oh, ten, oh, I had the both ten seconds there. Now, the player you play is always a, a lighter colour than the, the rest of the team. Try and get the ball off this guy, there we go. Yeah, this is looking good. Now, I, this is... I mean, this is written by Andrew Spencer, who also wrote uh, International... Uh, uh, soccer on a 64, which is a great game as well for its time. Uh, and these are these both came out about 83, I think, very early on. Uh, and released by Commodore's uh, own software label. But uh, this is, I mean, this is obviously like a lot of these games that it's better in two-player mode. But I mean, the one-player mode, uh, because you can set the skill level, I think uh, it's obviously I'm not going to set high enough here. But uh, because you can set the skill level, you can you can uh, you can really have quite good uh, one-player games out of this as well. Come on, whoops. And he's off. Now, um, yeah, the, the, I think uh, where this game succeeds is uh, the, its simplicity. Uh, the, the controls are, are not uh, not difficult at all. It's just um, uh, it's a case of uh, when you press fire, uh, the computer really decides for itself uh, what you want to do, and most times it, it gets it right. If I press fire now, it'll pass to this guy. If I press fire again, it'll take a shot. But I was a bit too far away. If I get close enough, it'll just uh, try and drop it in. Yeah, I, th I think the controls are, are brilliant in this game. Uh, it's really, uh, it's really what makes the game. I think. It doesn't. I mean, it's quite cleverly done, but but it doesn't. It's not. It's not in your face. It doesn't look like a game. It's trying to be clever, but actually, uh, it is quite well done. And there's no, uh, apart from the uh, the occasional uh, cheerleader screen, there's no annoying delays or anything like that. And there's no multi loads or you know any of those things that would come later on in Commodore 64 games. Unfortunately, there's no variation in the. Um, I think the graphics are okay, but there's no variation. I mean, it's always played in this in this uh, particular uh, court, basketball court. There's no variety uh, in terms of the the graphics, background graphics. The only variety is in terms of the uh, team colours. But, uh, but so maybe it could have done with a bit of variety there. I don't know. But, um, now, if you play um, around about eighty seven, eighty eight. Um, um, Epic Software released um, uh, Street Sports uh, Basketball, 
which plays not too dissimilar to this, to be honest. Uh, I don't think it plays quite as well, doesn't it? It's not, but but it has uh, various different um, courts that you can play in, and uh, different players as well. And, e and each player um, has his own strengths and weaknesses. Uh, strengths and weaknesses. Some are better uh, runners, some are better um, at catching, th things like that. Which certainly brings a bit more depth to it, but it also brings quite a hefty multi-load uh, to it as well, which. Uh, sort of gets in the way quite a lot of that game. But here it's just um you know it's fairly streamlined. Well there's not much more I can show you really, uh, I mean that's the end of the first half and we're at the second half. There's no point showing you the whole match, I think uh, obviously I'm gonna win this one. So you get the idea, this is a uh, international basketball on a 64 and uh, a great game for its time. Uh, maybe mark it down a little bit for being a bit Simplistic in a way, but um, I think the gameplay itself is is still quite good, quite good fun to play. So uh, on that strength, I'll give this um, I'll give this eight eight out of ten. And you know, I'm not even a I'm not even a basketball fan to be honest, but I, I do quite like playing the game. Uh, I think it still plays really well, and that's the important thing. I think. Oh. Yep, 8 out of 10. Uh, that's all for this video.